We need a word. Prayer is a direct admission, God, I need you. But as long as you think that you can cope with the crises of life, apart and separate from God, you will never call upon him in, in prayer. As long as you place your, your, uh, your confidence and your faith in all that you have, in the people that are around you, you will never go to God in prayer. But how many of you can testify that life has a way of jamming you up? Life has a way of backing you up against the wall. Life has a way of causing us to recognize and realize that we are utterly incomplete and woefully inadequate to deal with the challenges of life apart and separate from God. Although I may be in a confined place right now, that although I may be going through my difficulties right now, if I'm bold enough, if I'm courageous enough, if I have enough faith to call and to cry out to him, the text says that he will answer me, and he will not only answer me, but he will change my context. Listen to how he changes the context. He says, and he has set me in a large place. That phrase, in a large place, actually means he has placed me in a place of abundance. He has placed me in a place of provisions. He has placed me in a place of blessing. He has placed me in a place of favor. Is there anyone in here that can testify that God can change your circumstance? God can change your context. God can change the situation of your life. God is not like us. Where we just walk around making promises and making vows that we can't keep. But he says, I am nothing like you. I'm totally different and distinguished in my deity. That if I promise it, here's what the text says, it shall come to pass.